Hey guys, welcome back to my Sims 3 Let's Play. We are in Paris right now, and I know this is not where we left off, but basically, I had tried to film this Let's Play before, and I had already started, but it wasn't working out right. Like, I wasn't feeling it. So, to catch you up, we're in Paris, and I think we're here for like six days because uh, Serena has the trendsetter. Um, she has the trendsetter trait thing uh so we're here for double the time which is good because now we can spend a lot of time in paris and who doesn't love paris anyway oh and like two videos ago i got a copyright warning for the music in my game so i am going to have to mute that and we'll do that now before i forget okay so i like i've said before i've like been here before and i feel like there's not much to do in the World Adventure Expansion Pack. Like, I've been to all the places. And unless you do the adventures, we're going to have nothing to do. So I think it's time to send Serena and Blair on some adventures while we're here. So, check for adventures, Serena. I feel like it's been so long since I've recorded a Let's Play, guys. I mean, I don't know. I was, like I said, I was really busy with exams. And then I, like, filmed those three videos last week. And now I... Well, I feel like it's time to get back with my Let's Plays, because, you know, this is a thing. Um, report to Noel St. James. Let's do that. We'll report to that guy. Anyway, yeah, I feel like it's been forever, because, you know, I've been busy with exams and stuff. I did try to record a Let's Play during exams, which was this one, and it ended up badly, so I decided just to wait until after my exams to record. So where's this guy? Oh, it's a girl. Okay, that... Uh, awkward. I called her a guy. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Travel to the Celtic ru ruins up the road and behind the next tree. Enter the ruins and find Noel and St. James' mix missing object in a hole on the floor. Then return it. Okay. That is a really long thing. Where's the Celtic ruins? Oh, wait. There's a little star. The Visit the hidden burial grind. That seems like a really smart thing to do in the middle of the night. Visit the ancient burial grind. And Serena has a Vespa. Um, fun facts about Gossip Girl, Serena loves Vespas. Um, ooh, I guess we go down here. But Serena loves Vespas. She explains it on her date with Dan about how much she really loves Vespas. And Dan didn't get her a Vespa, he actually got her a town car. So that was a little bit awkward because, uh, Dan wanted to give her the Upper East Side dinner she deserved and she didn't really want that. Um, I mean, I don't know, I feel like... Whenever I said I was going to make this Gossip Girl style, I was going to have things true to Gossip Girl. And there isn't, a, like, I don't know. I thought, I actually thought about, um, adding more characters. Like, making characters of, like, Dan and Jenny and, like, everyone and adding them. But then, I don't know if I really want to spend time doing that. Like, because of because to make a true to the show I would have to make the sims the exact same way and it took me forever to make the sims that look like Blair and Serena and the one that looks like Serena doesn't even look like her mm -hmm. so I don't know I have looked on websites to download sims that look mm -hmm. like people but honestly they don't look like some of the people and so I don't mm -hmm. want to do that anyway back in the actual game Serena opened this tomb thing magical we should go in there um i have completed a few of these adventure things whenever i was playing my other save games so it's not like i'm a noob at this but it is kind of weird i have to say i mean i think this is the whole point of the adventure expansion pack to do the adventures because if you don't do the quests it's kind of boring because all there is is like three shops and it's it's not great Ooh, we found some gold what did I just unlock anyway? Ooh, a hidden switch. Serena's overly excited about everything. Looks like there's a door here. I wonder what it is. 
We just find a uh, cut of opal. Opal? Opal? I don't know. Okay. I think the worst thing about these adventures is that you get a ton of notifications that you don't actually need. Plus, because I have the Generations expansion pack, I do I have the memory thing. Um, wait, and they create memories over everything. I don't like the memory thing in this as much as I like the one in Sims 2 because the Sims 2 memory thing I think was kind of cool. And yeah, you bust the rhyme there, Serena. I'm gonna pull this onto the thing so that we can get into this room. All the while, I really don't know what Blair is doing and I feel like we should check on her but I don't want to leave Serena in here by herself. You know, just in case something goes wrong. So, yeah. We'll finish with Serena and then we'll spend some quality time with Blair. Ooh, there's a thing on the wall over there. Ooh, we found a hidden switch. Oh wait, that takes us back up to the stairs to get out. Okay, that's our skip. Oh, there's another one. Not gonna lie, I actually think I did this exact same adventure in my other shave game, like, a month ago. That's really awkward because I think I know what happens in this. Oh, and a third panel we gotta stand on. This is so much fun, guys. Are you having fun? I'm having fun. Oh my god, my game first. Oh, okay. I was really worried there in case my game actually froze because I can't handle when my sim game freezes. I normally have to reset and <laughs> that's a bummer when you don't see it. Yeah, I've done this adventure before. It's um, not that bad, I don't think. I mean, the quests aren't supposed to be hard. I mean, literally, you just, like, move the camera around and you find things and you click on them. It's no big deal. Although, it's not like I've ever really been through, a s like, one with booby traps. I think I tried to do one one time, but I was really bad at it. Um, I noticed scrolls on the wall. Every good explorer should carry a tent and dried food at all times. The stairs close behind me, but luckily I'm prepared. I'm confident I'll find... Oh, it went away. I'll find a way out any day now. And I think that was the person that wrote it. Oh, that's really awkward because he's dead. Yeah, let's not talk about that. Um, in the meantime, I'm literally just going to collect everything. Because there's nothing you're saying that we can't take shit. I mean, really, there isn't. There's a grave in the middle of this maze. Oh, that's so terrible. Who? Rest in peace, that person. I think I collected everything, but there is a little, we have to move this statue, so let's do that. I still haven't judged how far they will pull it if I say pull far, because I just never have, so I try not to do that, unless I know it's going to be like more than two spaces. See, they, pu they pull it too far. I'm actually surprised that Serena has the strength to move these things, because I wouldn't think that she would. I mean, I'm not saying that she's like a weak character in Gossip Girl or anything, but like, I don't think I'd ever see her moving around statues. And I definitely would never see Blair trying to do this. Although, I feel like Blair would. I mean, Blair works for things. Serena doesn't really. Serena gets everything handed to her because she's an it girl and she has life so easy, even though she says that she doesn't, but really she does. Like, everything works out for her in the end. It works out for Blair too, but like, I don't know. Guys, I feel like on Gossip Girl, Serena definitely ends up with it. Oh, oh, okay, hey. We just completed the legendary Forgotten Burial Mind. What does that even mean? I don't know. We completed the adventure, guys. It's all good. Although we still gotta go over there because there's a door over there that we need to go to. We'll go there after. We ain't leaving nothing. Mm, the secret passageway opened. Right, okay, before we go through there, we gotta go over here, because there's a door that's locked. What was I saying before? Something about Serena getting it easy? Yeah, okay. So, Chuck and Blair had to fight for their relationship in Gossip Girl, but Serena and Dan, I mean, their relationship, while they had the same fight over and over again, was not that tough. That's all I have to say about that. I definitely think 
Blair had it rough and I feel bad for Blair. And we're taking all this stuff because YOLO and we can. Okay. Let's get out of here. This was fun and everything, but I, I think we would rather not be here anymore. Ooh, more treasure. That's what that door is. How do we get out of here? Oh, I guess we just go back the way we came. Which was over there. Okay. Wow, that was a long adventure. We went in there at like 1 in the morning. We gotta deliver this relic now. And then after that, I guess we go check on Blair because we haven't seen Blair in like forever. Ooh, okay. That was amazing. That was so fun. Okay. Teaching Serena. Let's go see what Blair is doing. So I feel like this entire time Blair's just been like standing here talking to people and stuff. I feel bad for abandoning her. Let's see what adventures there is for Blair. Deliver two pieces of titani titanium to Gaston de TL to receive some simoleons. Okay, let's do that. Actually, normally what I do is I just go to like the store and I buy it. Even though that seems stupid. But, I do it anyway because, you know... It's kind of cheating, even though sometimes whenever you buy it from like the relics guy, you're actually delivering it to him, so you just like bought it from him to give back to him. It's really weird. But yeah. Okay, I thought that I muted the music. Where is that music coming from? I don't want to get in trouble for copyright with YouTube. I've already done it like three times already and it's not good. One time... I posted like a Glee video and they didn't like that at all. Like Glee's really strict with their copyright laws and I think so is Twilight or not Twilight but like E1 Entertainment or Summit whatever they were like really strict with their copyright policies so if you posted like anything from those movies then you would get in so much trouble. And this is the wrong store. But yeah copyright's bad guys and if and because I'm talking about this right now, I have, there's a link in the description of this video my older brother showed me about how they tried to prevent copyright laws back in like the 90s or something. And it's a song by this guy and it's called Don't Copy That Floppy and it's like hilarious. I feel like I need to share it with you guys. So link in the description. I'll probably annotate it too, but it's amazing. You guys have to check it out. And remember... Don't copy that floppy because it is illegal. Not that anyone even uses floppy disks anymore, but we're made to learn about that in school and it's really terrible because no one uses floppy disks anymore. Okay, so let's go see if we can buy some titanium because I don't have any. Normally when you go to the map, it'll like show you where titanium is and you can go collect it, but I don't like to do that because it takes so much effort. So it's easier just to buy it. Titanium. Two pieces. Okay, now we have to deliver the metal. Oh, it's not to the relic woman. That's good. Blair also has a Vespa, as you can see. Looking stylish, guys. Looking stylish. I think if they didn't have a Vespa, they have a bike or something. Or worse, they walk. And that that's not good. Okay, we're here. With the nectar guy. Oh, actually, I think whenever I tried to make this let's play the first time, I wanted Serena to get into making nectar. Ask for a nectar with chip to Gaston to tell. Okay. Um. But, um, who are we convincing? I have no idea. I don't read these things. I really should, but I don't. It's like my Animal Crossing let's play. Why read it when you don't need to? Um. But yeah, in my last, whenever I tried to shoot this the first time, I did want Serena to get into making nectar, but then I was like, whoa. Oh, okay, we gotta, get, we gotta be friends with him before we can convince him. Well, what's his name? I'll convince him. This guy. See, we're friends now. Um, yeah, I wanted... Serena to be into making nectar but I didn't think that that would be really into character plus the nectar stuff takes up a lot of room and we live in that tiny apartment so I didn't think it would fit when we get back so that was that story I'm, I feel like I'm talking really fast and I'm rambling through this entire let's play and I really don't mean to it's just it's been so long so I feel kind of out of the loop with everything 
Oh, the wrong, the wrong. Okay, wrong guy, wrong guy. Didn't read his name. This guy. We're friends with him now. Convince him. I'm glad that Blair's adventure does not require us to go into any more underground hidden places because I didn't think that that would be Blair's thing. It's definitely not her thing. So I guess running errands is a little bit better for her. Mm. Huh. Yay! We did it. Blair Waldorf has reached visa level 1. Longer vacations can I be enjoyed abroad and new rewards can be purchased from the spe special new merchant. Shit. Check the adventure journal for more details. Yay, we reached visa level 1. That's so exciting and we're like halfway through our holiday. This is good guys, this is good. I feel like for the rest of this holiday we'll just do this, you know, like do adventures because that's fun. Don't ask me what we're doing when we get back to Bridgeport because I haven't thought that far ahead. I mean, I guess if worse comes to worse, I really will like make other Sims and stuff. Because I only want to continue the Sims 3 Let's Play until Sims 4 comes out, which is September 5th, guys. I pre-ordered it and it's a digital download, which means I don't have to wait for it to be shipped to me. I can literally download it the day it's ready, which is really great because I can't wait to play it. Um... So yeah, look out for that. September Sims 4 Let's Play. I promise I will do one. It'll probably just be me playing as myself, which is kind of lame because I knew that everyone does that and it's not exciting. But I do want to like explore the features myself. I want to take you guys with me on that. Even though I know that every big gaming channel and stuff probably get to do the Let's Plays before me. I hope that you will take the time to watch mine when it comes out. Okay, back to the actual game. Serena, time to look for another adventure. Prepare five single serving meals of great or better quality and deliver them to Adele Duran to receive some high quality produce and simoleons. Well, okay, but I don't think that Serena can cook. Oh, oh, she can. Okay, that's good. I didn't remember if I had made Serena's. I had up Serena's cooking level, but at least she can cook, because if she couldn't, then that would have been really terrible. So, come on Serena, let's make some food. Because France is a place for food. Did you guys ever see the movie Ratatouille? Because I did, and I kind of loved it. And he said that anyone can cook, and there is sad music like something bad happened, although it wasn't for my sims, so I don't know. Blair, don't eat the food. If it's supposed to be going to this guy, don't take the food, Serena. Ooh, they're apple pancakes, and they're only normal quality. Okay, you can eat the pancakes. My bad. They're supposed to be, like, high quality. Better quality than normal quality. Nice or great quality, I think it said. My short-term memory sucks really badly. Colette Bennett would like to know Serena. No, Serena doesn't want to talk. She has to make food for people. Stop eating it. What is even happening? No, stop eating things. Oh my god. I can tell you right now, we're probably not going to complete this opportunity. It's not that her, like, I don't know. I just don't think it's gonna happen. See, just normal quality. I really like how they're eating, even though their knees aren't going down, so they don't really need to eat. Still normal quality. Okay, new experiment. Let's have Blair cook. What is Blair's cooking skill? Okay, Blair's cooking skill is only three, so her cooking is not going to be any better. I have an idea. I wonder if we can just buy the food. That is such a Gossip Girl thing to do, you know? Just buy the food. Because they don't cook the food themselves. They have cater caterers for that. I mean, come on guys, step it up. It's Upper East Side. Buy items. I think you can only buy single items, though. That might be our downfall what? here. We can't buy servings. We can only buy single plates. And that's not good. Still gonna try it, guys. Let's just take the first five pieces of food. I think that was six pieces of food. I really can't count. Okay, so, um... It looks like Blair was eating a little bit too many waffles. And, um... She put on some weight. And this is really drastic. And... Um, we have to fix it, because 
Fire Waldorf does not... Well, one, I don't think she really eats waffles, she and two, she doesn't have a weight problem. Like, on Gossip Girl, Blair does struggle with an eating disorder, and it, they don't really touch on it on the TV show. I think they do go into it in more detail in the book, but, um, you know, she struggled with her body image, and, you know, she, she eventually got better. So it's not like it was the end of the world, but even so, she needs to, I mean, I feel like we need to get it back to herself, because she's Blair Waldorf, and, um, Blair Waldorf doesn't look like that. So, do this place have anywhere to exercise? Like, I wish that in this game they had a little thing that showed you their fitness. Like they did in Sims 2 because I don't think that they have one. See, so they don't have like a little thing to show their fitness. Which I really liked in Sims 2 because I thought that was helpful. Not in this one. You'll just get a notification being like, hey, your Sim has put on a little bit of weight. We're cleaning these away. That's the first thing we can do. I can't find any exercise equipment. I wonder if they have a gym here. Serena's not maintaining her rebel influence very well. Well, that's a bummer, I guess. I don't know. Right now I'm concerned about Blair's health. Yeah, they don't have a gym here. Okay. Whenever we get home, Blair, we have to talk about this. We have to deal with this. Although, what's weird is that I don't know why she was eating so much food. Like, it was really weird. Because whenever Serena was, like, making all this stuff, Blair would just keep going for more. And I didn't understand that because they their needs don't go down. So... Oh, okay. Um, so maybe this does kind of reflect her eating disorder. Because she would binge and then purge. Let's not talk about that. Sensitive, sensitive topic, guys. Sensitive topic. I don't know what we can do about this right now since I don't know if there's a way for her to exercise. But, um, in the meantime, getting all that food for Serena did not help us. Oh, some of these things aren't even nice quality. This popcorn is normal quality. I wonder if we buy one more thing, will it make a difference? That didn't work. It nice. is kind of lean. I guess Serena can really eat her salad if she wants to, but I'm selling everything else. I don't think that we're going to complete this opportunity because Serena can't cook anything that's not normal quality. And I know you have to up their skill level, but like, who has time for that when we're only in Paris for three more days? And still, we gotta deal with Blair, her little issue. <sighs> she just doesn't look like Blair anymore. She doesn't even look happy right there, she looks so angry. Let's go see if there's any opportunities for Blair to do since we're not going to get Serena's opportunity. Oh. Serena is starting to feel ill. Great! We'll have one sick sim and one overweight sim. Interview Colette Bonnet and then return. Yeah, okay. So it's safe to say this let's play wasn't turning out the way I thought it would. I thought this would just be a normal trip to Paris, but no. Blair enjoyed too many macaroons and Serena may have kissed the wrong French guy. That's the Gossip Girl spin I'm putting on this. Um, actually, I recently watched Pretty Little Liars, like um, this morning. And this kind of reminds me of Hannah from Pretty Little Liars when she had her problem. Similar thing. And, um... Yeah, I don't know. It's good that these shows are kind of addressing these things. With own Gossip Girl, they didn't really. They didn't really talk about it. And I guess... Um... We have to be friends with her. But, I guess... I don't know. Like, on Gossip Girl wasn't really clear... It was kind of clear, but they didn't really talk about it. And I wish they had a little bit more, I think. I don't know. Not that they really, like, talked about it that much on uh, Pretty Little Liars either, but, you know. It it would have been nice if they had really addressed these problems. And Gossip Girl isn't good with addressing problems. Um, because, like... Whenever they were dealing with Eric's depression thing, like, they didn't really talk about that either. And that kind of bugged me, because it's like, this is a serious thing, and they didn't really focus on it. But at the same time, it's not a show to really deal with those type of things. Glee's more the type of show to deal with those things. 
Moving on. Enter the library near the front of Admiral Landgraf's chateau. Locate the nectar papers hidden within and deliver them to... Ooh! We're going on an adventure. Just like the one that Serena was going on. I think after this adventure I will end this let's play. I've, I'm feeling a little bit traumatic right now. The door is locked. Maybe there's a way to unlock it. Is this the library? Ooh. Inspect. A magical item from China is needed to destroy this mystical boulder. Are you serious? You want us to go to China? Unfortunately, there's no way around the giant boulders other than through them. Well, alright. What's going on down here? Ooh. A trap. Disarm. Hey, we did it. Okay, go through door. The front door was locked, but back door. Whole other story. Okay. There are two doors. I don't know which way to go. This is this is great. Okay. There's only one door we can go through. That cleared things up a little bit. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Are there lots of places we can go through? <gasps> oh my gosh, this is going to be such a long thing. Ooh. I'm kind of excited. Let's go this way. I'm gonna get lost in here, I'll tell you guys that much. We have a keystone? Oh, we have a key stow. Oh, dear. Oh, my God. I didn't even see that. Oh, my gosh. Holy. Oh, my God. Oh. Well, we, what did that say? I just received the electrical shock of her life. Well, yeah. I mean, look at her. I can't even change my clothes from this. Well, let's disarm that. Well, we... Too scared. Oh. All right. Let's just wait a little minute. Oh. We're disarming the trap. Hmm. There's no way I'll be able to disarm it. How about this? <laughs> right click. Too. Object. Ta-da. It's gone. Okay. Over here. I know that that's not really the way you're meant to do it. But I think that we'll do it anyway because YOLO. Plus, he really has time to disarm anything. So what does this say? Music soothes the savage beast. I hate riddles. Well, this is sparkling, so it looks like we should open it. Because it's really good to always be Oh my god! I'm going to end up killing my sim, and I really don't want to kill her. Do you know how bad it would be if I actually killed my sim? Blair and I knows what it's like to be, oh. Well, on that note, I think we're going to end this Let's Play. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe for more. Hopefully in the next episode, Blair won't die. I mean, right now she's passed out on the floor, but I, I mean, I hope she doesn't die. Because that would be really bad for this Let's Play and everything else. So yeah, we'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.